Hello everyone, this is Yuning Liu. I am a GIS application specialist at Blue Marble Geographics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Global Mapper to create a 3D uh, terrain model with texture. It can be a variety of 3D formats that are popular in the industry, like FBX, Wavefront OBJ. So first, the data I, pre I prepared and to start from is an elevation terrain grid. You can see I loaded a tile 10 meter resolution of elevation grid. This is at Waloa Lake in the Oregon State in the United States. There is a really beautiful ski resort uphill where you can overlook part of the lake. It's a really nice one. Um, I can enable the 3D viewer to look at its elevation variation too. To create a mesh as an output with texture applied to it, I need to prepare some additional imagery data that overlaps this area. This image will be applied as a texture image. To get this texture, I collect some NAEP imagery with our online data connection tool. I can only download the image with only this area of interest so that the data won't be too unwieldy. So I checked off the restrict source to bounce here, the option, and to stream uh, my data. Okay, since it's streaming data from an online server, to further process this types of data coming from online uh, service, I recommend exporting to a global mapper package file first, because it's a really convenient self-contents file format to use for all the operations within the software. So now I have had my uh, global mapper package file loaded. You can see there are two layers. One stores elevation information, and the other one stores RGB value in each pixel that will serve as a texture map. Then I can navigate to the layer menu and click 3D model mesh and click to create mesh feature from terrain raster. Okay, please make sure to select both layer to work on here. Okay, then we are making a textured mesh. A few setting options here. First, uh, make sure to select these options to create texture for mesh from selected layers. And other options like the setting mesh resolution or simplification options, I will keep everything else by default. Then just click OK to start to create a mesh. All right, the result will be a newly generated mesh layer. We can open the 3D view to take a look at it. Finally, it should be ready for export. So we run on, uh, we turn on this mesh layer only, and then we navigate to the file menu and click export. Select uh, export 3D format and couple of options uh, from the drop down menu. There are some formats that are supported to store um, texture information such as FBX, Wavefront OBJ that I mentioned up previously, we can choose one of this. However, some formats like STL files that only describes the surface geometry of 3D object without any representation of color or texture. So keep in mind to choose the right formats to work on. I'm now choosing to export my texture mesh in FBX. So you can see there's an option to embed texture. It's by default, um, it's enabled by default. So I just uh, make sure and click OK. All right, navigate to my folder where I save my data. I can see an FBX file along with the associated image file are exported. If you go back to Global Mapper and just import that FBX file, you will be able to see your mesh data loaded successfully. It's a 3D structure with texture on it. 
and you are all set to share to other co-workers or use them in other software. If you would like to learn more about Global Mapper, please visit our website at bluemarblegeo.com. If you have technical questions, just send us an email to geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thank you.